actually there have been a number of studies over the years that have shown that um, uh, alfalfa hay when harvested in late afternoon periods actually accumulates uh, sugars in the in the vacuoles in the in the in the plant in the leaves and the stems and um, that's because uh, during a bright sunny day in, in the west you have uh, uh, plenty of photosynthesis taking place and so you have the buildup of, of sugars in the plant and then at night those sugars are used up in respiration um, and and depleted so you might have as much as two or three percentage point change in soluble carbohydrates and and so uh, all else being equal um, if you can harvest in the afternoon period between say one o'clock and six o'clock in the afternoon um, and uh, dry the crop down quickly and that's a key uh, to avoid excessive respiration and and destruction of those sugars during the night period uh, you can capture that uh, those sh that sugar content in the hay in the afternoon periods and so there have been actually a number of studies that have demonstrated this this principle and and animals can sense this you know we've had a video of animals with afternoon harvested hay and morning harvested hay and they'll back away from the morning ha harvested hay and go after the afternoon harvested hay and um, it's uh, it's a pretty interesting phenomena they'll sense the differences in the uh, carbohydrate content of the crop and so we can measure that in forage quality measurements uh, in the afternoon. Now the key issue is making sure that you can dry the crop down quickly so that respiration doesn't occur in excess even after the harvest has taken place and, and destroys the, the carbohydrate that's been accumulated during that period of photosynthesis. When we respire, the respiration in the plant is actually the same as in a human being or any other animal. We're taking the breakfast that we had <laughs> and we're breaking down the starch and sugars and making energy for ourselves and giving off carbon dioxide to the air. So in the plant too, it's, it continues to respire after it's cut. It doesn't know that it's dead. <laughs> and so what it does is it continues to break the starch and sugar in the leaves down and give off carbon dioxide. So we're losing dry matter and then that starch is 100% digestible, so we're losing the highly digestible fraction. When we cut alfalfa, uh, it continues to respire to break down starch and sugar and give off carbon dioxide to the air until it dries down to 60% moisture. So if we're in a region that doesn't dry very well and we cut late in the afternoon, there was more starch when we cut, but if it didn't dry enough before nightfall, then we lose it to respiration overnight. So the data from the Western United States is very clear that cutting in the afternoon is a good idea. It gives you more carbohydrate because they can cut it for and still have it dried to 60% moisture by nightfall. However, in the Eastern United States, we don't have as good a drying conditions. So if we cut in the afternoon, it's still very wet by nightfall and while we uh, harvest with more starch, we lose more overnight. So cutting in the east in the morning is a good idea after the bulk of the dew is off. Cutting in the west in the afternoon is a good idea if we can get it dried to 60% moisture by nightfall.